Today is Sunday, April 16th, right? 17th? The hive is a buzz. You're in their flight path there, so. So these bees are here because I just dumped them out of the top. And then we put the, we put a honey super. I need to come forward. A honey super, a honey super, and a feeder on. These honey supers have uh, just straight foundation. So we're hoping that they'll build them out. We're gonna start feeding them for the spring. The boxes, have, when we opened it, looked inside, they're loaded with honey. You can see the frames. The outside frame that we pulled was completely covered with honey in hive number one. This being hive number two, just looking down inside, we didn't pull any frames because it's still a little cool here in mid-April. Uh, you can see they're loaded with honey, so I think they'll actually fill these pretty quickly and build up the wax and so on. So there must be a nectar flow, and there's obviously a lot of activity here today. It's, what, 60 degrees? Uh, not a relatively warm day. It absolutely poured yesterday, and so they're out right now doing what they're doing. You can see bees all throughout the yard coming and going. They could care less about me. All the foragers are out. What we're seeing for the first time here, too, is a lot of drones in the box. Uh, hadn't seen a lot of those in the previous inspection, so we're starting to see the new bees hatching out. As you look at these bees here, they're absolutely gorgeous. Every one of them looks pristine. They got nice color. They got nice wings. Very shiny, really nice looking bees. So you see a bunch of them here with their tails in the air. Presumably they're spreading their pheromones, telling them to come back. And I smoked them a little bit so I could get in and, and change the covers, but they, they seem to be really in good shape here. Hive number one looks exactly like this. We set it up with the same configuration. In the next two weeks, we're going to put screen bottom boards on here. I didn't want to go break all the seals because it's still getting to be like 40 degrees at night. Maybe uh, 35 this past week, 38 degrees, and I think I'm going to leave them sealed up till we get a run of 70, 70 degrees with 50, 60 at night. And then what I'll do is I'll look to see whether I need to swap the boxes, and we'll put the screen bottom boards in to take care of Roa. But uh, here we are in mid-April, and, and both hives look really good full of bees doing plenty of activity and uh, I think we're good to go just want to go back and say that the new honey you could tell it's new because it's newly capped fresh whitish uh, cappings on the new honey yep. as opposed to the art old older stuff is darker yeah and so you know we had this concern about whether we were going to need to feed the bees whether they had enough to sustain and these are granolian bees or carnelian and um, they've, they've done really well for themselves controlled and we did give them a little bit of sugar and actually in this hive we saw them take the sugar out they were not interested in it so uh, so far so good everything looks great busy busy out here busy 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 Windy day, but we're still going to town. Look at them all, the gold, beautiful gold pollen. Lightish yellow pollen. There's some neon orange pollen going in. We saw some green pollen earlier this year. It's kind of like pea green or pea soup green going in. So um, that was really early in the season. There's a big drone. They're so busy with what's going on, they could care less about us.